an incident which happened to me years ago, back in Dubai, where we had an Islamic center, I'd set up a da'wah center called the Islamic Information Center. And we were making da'wah to non-Muslims. And we had a number of them except Islam, quite a few. And one day I took a group of them into the masjid to make salah. And they prayed along with everybody without actually learning all that needed to be said in the salah because there was no time. They just recently taken shahada. So they prayed. They just went through the movements. And we told them, just do as we do. And they did it. And then at the end, they sat as we sat. And then I went over and sat with a group of them and asked them if they had any questions, etc. <coughs> so some of them said, we saw something which was a bit strange. We wanted, perhaps you could explain to us what this was. Because everybody in the masjid seemed to be healthy. But at the end of the salah, all of a sudden, it appeared as if they all had Parkinson's. You know Parkinson's disease when you start to shake, tremble. Okay. So I said, what do you mean? They said, well, we saw them, their hands were like this. At the end of the prayer, on their legs, you know, just shaking like this. So, so what was that? Well, I was ashamed to tell them that people were supposed to be remembering Allah doing that. What was supposed to have been Subhanallah. 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 Had become Spanla. Spanla. And Alhamdulillah had become Hamdla. Hamdla. And Allahu Akbar had become Lakbar. Lakbar. So people in their attempt to try to finish this tasbih of 33 times, 33 times, you know. So they were just going 90 miles an hour. <laughs> Believing that this was in fact remembrance of Allah. But could this possibly have been remembrance of Allah? It is not remembrance of Allah. It is actually an insult. It is an insult. It is not an expression of remembrance of Allah, but an affront to Allah. Something displeasing to Allah. Hateful in the sight of Allah. But the Ummah is... This is the Ummah today. So then we wonder, where is the help of Allah? Why isn't Allah helping us? Because we haven't done our duty to the application of the religion of Allah. In Tansurullah, Yansurkum. This is the last promise. But it's a conditional promise. If you help the religion of Allah by implementing it in your lives, then Allah will help you. But if we are abusing the remembrance of Allah, if dhikr has become this, these acts of displeasure, then what can we expect? <coughs> 